Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Back on the home shallow lake on a warm spring day. Uh, a little light breeze, about six to eight. Um, really manageable with uh, spot lock and such. And um, we're out on the home shallow lake, uh, just tooling around. Um, Looking for fish, and we're gonna see what we can do. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, we've got a little bit of structure right here. I'm in spot lock, and I've got a minnow down, just bobbing around. It's all fish or two, just cruising around. So we'll wait and see. Okay, I've got my KVD crankbait, blue and chartreuse, got a lot of little orange spot on the belly, got a lot of confidence in this. I've got a little island bank, so I'm just tossing up here, and seeing what we can get, see if I can get a little bass bite. Uh, water depth here is about four to five foot coming down from a night uh, from the shore gradual slope good place for bass to hang out brim two occasional crappy crankbait is a fish finder Trying to vary my speed and my cadence on my retrieve, see what the fish might want. First the fish gotta be there. So but meantime, beat sitting on the couch. Okay, we're approaching the bridge. We're gonna see what we can do up here. Oh, first little crappy. Well, at least I'm not going home skunked. Goosey goosey. All right, saw a little school. Nice crappy. Nice crappy. Little slab for the day. Slab. Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, sizable raccoon perch. Awesome. Beautiful yellow perch. Oh, man. Sizable for this lake, too. Let's see how big he is. Oh, just shy of 12 inches. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Yellow perch. Hmm. 
Right bait and see that pocket right over there of grass with the little football bass. And he's hooked up and double hooked, foul hooked. I had him in the mouth, put some slack in. He got another treble hook in the side. Wow. Should never, never let the slack in. All right, old boy. Let me let you go. Just have this big bass blow up right here in front of me. Throwing the crankbait. Crankbait. Crankbait's dirty, but I gotta throw it. Giving up on them. Okay, I'm gonna toss a crankbait. This looks bass pretty right here. And finally got a little bait stealer. to school these little guys that's okay Doubled up, yellow perch, and crappy. Got a fish, but he's hung up on the bottom. I'll give him some little slack. Nice. Wow. Bow. Nice pounder. inch. He's a good pound. Awesome fish. Back you go. Little guy with shoulders. Pretty male. Pretty male. More dead minnow effect. So, y'all shoot fishing with minnows. And 
Minnows are all dead. Don't be afraid to put, put one on the hook. Dead minnows work. Another yellow perch. Yellow perch like dead minnows too. Pretty little guy. Display. Oh, quick release on the dead man. Two to three foot. They were steady there. Um, and Hey, surprisingly, you know, I caught some really nice fish there. And tried underneath the bridge, um, caught caught a 12-inch raccoon perch, which is sort of big for this lake. It's pretty awesome. So all fish were released. Um, I can't say they were unharmed because laser sharp hooks. So, um, well, thanks again. Y'all get up off that couch, you know. Go on out there, enjoy yourself. Social distance, get your little men a bucket and a cork, you know, cast off the shore. I think you'll be surprised. Maybe not the catch, but at the enjoyment and satisfaction. And who knows, you might even get slabby. All right, thanks again, folks, and we'll be talking to you soon. I appreciate your viewing and subscribing. Y'all keep it coming. Peace.